Hey guys, Kristen Ennis here of Playing with Kristen, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. Did we just, did it, hold on. okay, we're good. If my back throws off the lighting a little bit, I apologize. Maybe I should go up on my ISO. No, 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 hold on. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Uh, oh, we're up pretty high already. Okay, so I will fix this in editing, but anyway. You guys know I got this about two, <laughs> the lighting, I swear, about two weeks ago, and I have been wearing it every single day since then. I'm wearing it today. I'll wear it tomorrow and the next day. So one thing you should know about me is when I get a new bag, it is very hard for me to switch out of that bag for a very long time. Um, so I'm going to give you the pros, the cons, all that good stuff, and I will show you mod shots and everything. I'll show you which way I've been wearing it the most. There's multiple ways you can wear this bag. So yeah. I have the small. This bag is not small. It's not small. I think the mini should be called the small, the should be the medium, the large should be the large. Um, and, oh, and also let me say this is in my last video, I misspoke. I said there was a mini, small, medium, a large. There is no medium. There is mini, small, and large. All right. So yeah, I have a small and black and I'm actually glad I got the black. I mentioned this in my initial video because of color transfer. And I'm going to tell you guys now what the only con is with this bag, and it is fixable. Lint. This bag attracts lint <laughs> like no other. Not only that, I have a dog. You guys know I have a dog, and my dog, the type of hair that Buddy has, he sheds a lot. You should see my car. He sheds a lot of hair, and so there is a lot of hair that gets on here and so I'm going to show you guys in better lighting I'm going to show I left it you know lint I left it lint central on here on purpose so I can show you guys all you need is a lint roller that's it that is the only con I have about this bag the only con I have about this bag is that it attracts lint so all the pros outweigh that one con so this is you can wear it as a top handle you can wear it over the shoulder. You can wear it crossbody, many lengths. It goes pretty high. I mean, it goes pretty long. You can wear it. Um, you can also take this off. So if you don't even want to deal with the strap at all, you don't have to. The zipper is is smooth. It is heavy duty. Um, it the zipper is pretty long. So if you want to put it like this, it does. It's not magnetic like the leather one is, but you can put it in here. I have not used this. People said you can clip like a water bottle on here. Um, if you wanted to, you can clip hand sanitizer um you can clip a keychain on here i haven't used it for anything so it's just there i hardly ever keep my bag close unless i'm in the car buddy will try to go through my bag um but other than that i don't really keep my bag close at all so yeah this bag i'm so glad that i got it this bag is under 200 dollars. the small one is under 200 dollars 178 with tax and everything I think it was too, like with tax and I up the shipping, I think it was like 210, 215 or something like that. Still affordable. Still very, very affordable um, for a bag. You know, if you want something, like I said, so I will have all the measurements in a little ticker and everything. I'll also have it in the description box, um, the measurements for this bag. There is a leather one of this bag. It costs more money, obviously, but there are so many different colors you can get in this bag some you can't get in the united states um if you are in the states uh some of them are like sold out some of them are, are limited edition but there are a lot of colors of this bag i can guarantee you no matter what color you like i can guarantee you're going to find a color that you like in this bag whatever the size is um i wanted the reason why i wanted this bag is because i love the look of the Christian Dior book tote. I love the look of the Louis Vuitton on the go tote. I don't love the price, especially for the Christian Dior book tote. I just, I refuse to spend that much money on any size bag. So since I love the look of both of those totes, I figure I can get this bag. And even the really large one, the, the really large one, as if there's two different size larges, the large one of this bag that I would most likely use for traveling or if I just want to carry a bunch of stuff you can use that as an everyday bag if you want to. I can get that size bag that's equivalent to the size of the Christian Dior tote for a lot less money. I think it's less than 300 bucks, you know, for that bag. And so I like that. 
Um, I know one con people mention is that they did not like that it said the tote bag Marc Jacobs. That doesn't bug me. I carry the bag up like this. I've got compliments on it. I had someone tell me, oh my god, where'd you get your bag? I'm just like... Um, but I, I've gotten compliments on it. I mean, you can carry it this way if you want to be logo free or something like that. But yeah. This bag does hold quite a bit. I don't even have a lot in here. I don't even have as much as I typically would carry in a bag. And that's fine. Um, I will do a top down shot so you guys can see what's in here. I think it's better to show, you know, the camera over the bag so you guys can see what's in here. But I really, I really just love this bag. I really do love it. It does not have feet on the bottom, which may be a con for you. It's not a con for me. It doesn't have feet on the bottom. Um, but it doesn't bother me. I like how the handles, I like how the bag stands up. It stands up with nothing in it and the handles don't flop down or anything like that. So I really do like that for this bag. This, this bag fits quite a bit. Um, if you were a planner, say you have like a seven by nine happy planner, I think would fit in here. I don't have a seven by nine planner. I couldn't tell you. Um, well I do. It's over there. I don't feel like getting it. But you can easily use this as a planner tote if you wanted to, um, if you're not going to carry a bunch of stuff with you. I mean, it would definitely fit in the large bag you can use it as a planner tote. Um, you could even use this as a diaper bag. If you wanted to use the large as a diaper bag, you could. But I have really been just enjoying, enjoying this bag. And so um, I'm going to show you guys what's in here. And then I'm going to show you guys how I get the lint off of here and how easy it is to get the lint off and then I will come back and give you my final thoughts. Alright so this is inside of my bag. I don't have a bunch of stuff in here so it does come with this really big pocket right here right here and there's a zipper right here which I never keep closed and I have like a chapstick, a mirror um, in there and then I have my Fendi gloss balm in here and a little notebook if in case I need to write something down. So that's what I keep in there. And over here, I have my Michael Kors wallet. Not going to turn around because that's my driver's license, um, but I keep that in there. And then this is Simply Gilded. I keep, there's some pens in here, sticky notes and whatnot. I have my glasses in case I need to read something. Um, and then I have my phone with Buddy is my lock screen and I have a little first aid kit and some hand sanitizer and that's pretty much what I carry in here um, and then sometimes I'll carry you know buddy's harness um, but yeah that's pretty much what I carry in here and I'm gonna show you guys how you can um, get the lint off so all you need is a regular lint roller um, so I'm gonna take this old one off and show you guys how to get the lint so if you guys can, let's see if I can zoom in and show you guys, oops, um, there we go. So I'm just going to go like that. And that's, this is pretty much all you do to get the lint off. That's it. And then I'm going to, there's a lot of lint on the bottom. It comes right off. And then the bag looks brand new after that. And so if you have a lint roller, you know, for the darker bag, then you are, you are good to go. So that is um, the inside of my bag and how I get the lint off. All right, and we're back. So yeah, the bag is all lint free now, looking brand new. All you need is a lint roller and you're good to go. But overall, I, I think this bag is very, very affordable. And I know affordable is relative to a lot of people, but I think for the amount of sizes you can get, the amount of colors you can get, it's a really good price. Less than $200 for a bag that most people know the name when they hear it, Marc Jacobs. And very good quality. It does come in leather as well. You're gonna pay a little bit more money, but I, I still even think the leather version of this bag is still a really good price because it's real leather. And uh, I've seen people, I've heard people say how squishy the leather is. And so will I invest in a leather bag in the future? Maybe I will, I don't know. Um, it's not out of the question or anything like that. Um, but I really, really have been enjoying this bag. I probably will come back in a couple of months or maybe even further and do an in-depth review like I did with my Fendi bag. 
Uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a review. I figured two weeks of carrying this bag every single day was more than enough time to come back and give you guys a review. And I will do a more in-depth review as I use it a lot more. Um, you know, maybe after I travel, I think we're going to travel in January. I'll probably take it with me then and see how it holds up like when walking for long periods of time. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the mod shots of this bag. And I will also show you which way I carry this bag the most. So hold on, and then I'll get my final thoughts. Okay, for the record, I am five foot five, okay? So this is on the shortest setting, and if I carry the bag like this, it just goes right here. This is where I like a bag to hit if I carry, if it's like a tote like this, or a smaller bag, I like it to hit right here. Um, you can also wear crossbody like this. This is the way I wear the bag the most. I wear a crossbody. It hits perfectly right here. This is how I wear it. I typically wear it like this. Um, or I wear it in the front if I'm getting my wallet out or something. But this is typically how I wear the bag the most. And the second way I wear it, typically, is just like this. I will just make sure that's in here. And I'll carry it just like this. And I'll just wear it like that. Or you can wear it like that. And I want to show you guys what it looks like with the, the longest setting. On here all right I'm getting it down so this is the longest setting and if you wear it over the shoulder it goes like that so it's the bottom of this purse is at the top of my knee and if you were to wear it crossbody it goes pretty low so there's a lot of adjustment on here I actually like the strap on this one better than the leather because you don't have to put it in the different notches you can just slide it up and down and it does have like this like this leather like this leather protection right here it keeps the strap together but yeah typically the way I wear it the most is um crossbody on the shortest setting that's the way I like to wear it if I can get it back there uh, it takes a little bit of um you know fussing around with it and so I just keep it like this and then like I said you can carry it like this or this is not no this is the shortest setting and you can do a crossbody like that if you want to but yeah there it is and so yeah while I'm standing here I'll give you guys my thought oh I am washed out let's fix this and oops there we go. All right, now here's my final thoughts. I really, really just love this bag. It's a great everyday bag. I wouldn't wear this like dressed up on a date or anything, but it's a great everyday bag. Um, it's very versatile. You can wear it many different ways. The strap gives you the option to wear it a bunch of different ways. So yeah, I love it. No cons, only con is a lint. You guys saw I took care of that. All right, thank you guys for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Turn on the notification so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And I will see you all next time. Bye.